Jessica. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oof. Yuck. Yeah. Middle name Brooke. Jessica Brooke. What <laughs> sorority were you in? I'm Jessica Brooke, and I'm an AD Pi. <laughs> <laughs> totally different route. I could have. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you could have been a hardcore. You could have been like a. Were you a cheerleader in high school? No, marching no. band. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking nerd. But you know what they say about kids in the band? School shooters later. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say they're like freaks. They're like sex uh, uh, freaks. Uh, I don't know. Aren't they? Aren't the band kids like the horniest kids on earth? Oh yeah, we're doing a lot of mouth stuff. What? Like with the instruments. Oh yeah. What do you call the group? I don't know what group I was. I was the guy underneath the bleacher. What do you call that guy? Pervert. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we call those perverts. No, but we smoke weed and stuff back there. Yeah, still pervert. Oh, because you were under the bleachers because you want to look at people. You want to look people. Not walking. during the game. It was oh. during the day. Okay. Oh, really? Like, during the football game, I'm looking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check it out, dude. You can see your bush. Yeah. In high school, were you like? Let me guess. I was in the shed, in the football shed. What is what? that? What? Yeah, the equipment shed. I was in the equipment shed. You were half koala bear? No, no, no. I was. Oh. They, they would stuff me in there. Oh, I see. And they're like, stay in there, you ginger freak. You weren't, you weren't the jock? Like, you weren't the popular, like, jockey kind of guy? I kind of towed this weird line because I liked drugs. I liked weed a lot. Mm. And most of my friends were potheads. Like, my closest group of friends. My my best friend from high school, we met smoking, ditching class, and getting high. Yeah. So that was my crew was like, but I also played sports so I could m- mingle with both. But I wasn't, com- I was never committed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, but sometimes I go to popular cool kids' parties and um, I'd bring people that they wouldn't like. <laughs> oh, right, right. Do you know what I mean? Like the cool kids didn't like that I traveled with kids who also had drugs and arrest records. So it was like this weird, like, Santino's cool, but dude, you can't bring these other guys. And it's like, well, then I'm going to leave. Really? Well, because those guys got drugs. I got to go with the guys that have drugs. Right. Your house is nice, but I got to go get high. So you're one of those guys that probably was were friends with everyone. I had, a, I had a lot of friends in different groups. I was pretty cool about like, I had a lot of groups. Yeah. Like I knew kids in in certain and all different like vectors for me it's if i went to school now yeah i would be friends with the ones that like are a little cuckoo right because if yeah. the day comes yeah right that they might give you a pass <laughs> right 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 <laughs> right this is the, this is the reenactment yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah give yourself to jesus <laughs> <laughs> yeah bobby lee yeah remember <laughs> I give you the Tootsie. The Tootsie yeah, Roll the guy. The Tootsie Roll guy. The dude. Tootsie Roll guy. Right. Hey. Hey. I love you. Thanks. Can you point? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. I, I love, love you. you. You want to know the Tootsie? Put, throw it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 fuck. I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah. oh. oh and then. And then oh, you're oh, a I'm hero. A, I'm on People Magazine, the cover. Yeah. You yeah. stopped a school shooter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like. Yeah, like I've been practicing throwing tootsies in people's mouths, you know what I mean, for like eight years, and I just knew. I timed it out. You know, he opened his mouth, I just whipped it right in his mouth. 60 minutes to do a piece about you at your home with like a little target, and you're just sitting with right. sticky tootsies, and you're throwing it against the wall? Yeah. Or, was, I could, or I could take a Pez dispenser, I could throw the Pez the opposite way. I'm cool back in it. Yeah. What were you, Juice? Were you a cool kid in high school? I was like you in a sense where I had friends with a lot of different groups. You yeah. Know, I was friends with the marching band, the orchestra, the choir. Oh, no. That's all the same one. <laughs> yeah. She's I feel like, like that's she, the same group. She's like flags. Uh, <laughs> right. The brass section. The, the woodwinds. Right. Yeah, woodwind, woodwinds were the shit. Yeah. I, 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 I knew nobody in that section, but I, I guess the only musicians I knew were like guys like you. What kind of guys like me? Well, guys that did drugs and experimental right, music. Right, like, right, I was right, friends right. with a lot of those kind oh, of guys. Oh, the jazz musicians. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Jazz, what the fuck are you talking Jesus about? Jesus Christ, yeah. Jesus. How long have you known us? <laughs> jazz. Yeah. <laughs> I, went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to this high school field trip. To We went to a college to watch the college jazz band play, and the, this guy took me, like, one of the student teachers took me into this car ride with one of the college trumpet players Mm. and i thought i was like oh cool i'm gonna hang out with them before their big concert and they rolled this giant blunt and we drove around flagstaff arizona just smoking this blunt and then they were like oh shit we got to get her back to class and they dropped me off and i was just high as shit and i know my whole band could sell (laughs) oh wow (laughs) i I was felt like i was gonna get in so much trouble but i mean that's the best way to learn jazz yeah that is that is is real one time uh we skipped out and i had um uh, it was the end of the year, and we had uh, chemistry. And in chemistry, they told us we were going to do tie-dye. And chemistry for me was right after lunch. 
And I was like, all right, so we're going to go get stoned at lunch and then we'll come back and do tie dye shirts. Because that was kind of like, you know, at the end of the, the lesson plan season, they're like just fucking something related to the subject a little bit. They're not trying at all, the teachers. Yeah. So this woman was like, we'll just do tie dye, right? Uh, and everyone was stoked. So we went out and got stoned. And this particular day, I remember my buddy John Martitius was like, he's like, this is purple haze. And I was like, okay, dude, what, you know, like the names of weed at some point, we were like, yeah, sure, dude, whatever. It's all the same. We're, yeah. Let's get high. And I got so unbelievably high that I remember walking up to the stairs to go back into the gymnasium and seeing them. It was like three levels. And I got nervous about how long it was going to take me to get up all the stairs. <laughs> and then I, as soon as I finished that, that one goal done, then it was getting to the classroom. Wow. Almost impossible. Wow. Got there, was so fucking high. She knew something was wrong. I couldn't tie dye. Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> That's like wait, wait, you're high so high you can't tie dye? It's the only thing you should be able to. Because the rubber bands, I didn't understand. She was explaining how you could do the rubber bands in different ways. And I just fucked it up. Every I would fuck it up. I'd, I'd over dip and then under dunk. Your shirt but came I, out perfectly orange. Yeah. It's this shirt. This is the shirt that I made in high school. Oh, I see. It's just all black. I just feel like it's the simplest thing to do. It's like Jackson Pollock painting. I was so. Like, you can't do that? I know, dude. But I was just, I was, it was uncomfortably high. I couldn't focus. I was getting nervous uh. about everyone thinking that I was acting weird did you have in in sc your school did you have did you have to raise your hand to go to the bathroom or could you just leave no you absolutely had to ask we had to have hall passes dude because we had so many kids who would ditch or skip and all that shit yeah you had to have a fucking hall pass do you remember that guys oh, yeah Sucked. we had one girl that could just leave because oh. she was <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no it turns out she was bar i swear to god <laughs> They're like, Let i, I don't want to say her name but her name is very like <laughs> That's what you had to call it. <laughs> yeah. We had a couple of those. Oh, you were in the special class? <laughs> Maybe I was. <laughs> I had to wear a helmet. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> but they made you wear a football helmet, a full football yeah, yeah, helmet. Yeah, yeah, No, we had we had a couple of kids that had uh, Tourette's that were allowed to come and go as they pleased when they felt yeah. like they were overwhelmed. No, this girl was born without an anal muscle. I gotta go. No, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not kidding. That's you. enough for me. Today. What do you mean? No, what do you mean? She was poor with no anal muscle. Well, you just gotta get it. Just gotta no, lift some ass weights. Back, I guess back in the day they did a drawstring. What? Around the. I swear to God. So she had a little drawstring. Bobby. I'm not kidding you, dude. Yeah, and you close it up that way. I guess this day, right? It was a little wet. Fucked up the drawstring, right? And it kind of un, you know, opened up a bit. Oh no. Right. So she was able to go walk out, and every time she would walk out. The whole class would laugh. <laughs> oh, Bob. I wouldn't. No, everybody but you. I'd be jerking off. <laughs> I can see her drawstring. No, yeah, yeah. No, but she and her laugh. I can't say. No, I'm do say not her say her name. I, I know, but I'm going to tell you why. I, I'll i tell you why I have to say her name. And then you have to beep it out, right? Okay. Her name was. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? No way. I swear to God. That can't be real. That's what her name was. What? Right. So it's uh, so you have to understand. Miss <laughs> is your anus leaking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um yeah, we were girl. And she was hot as fuck. She was so hot. Yeah. Well, so then who cares about the anal leak? Right. She was a leaker, but she was hot. <laughs> yeah. I mean Wait, she could you did the thing was it installed? installed. What do you mean installed? Her pulley system. Was that installed? Well, you think your parents did it? Like, well, you know, I, I, mean, I, I mean, a doctor, or did she do it? Is it a thing that she does? In my mind, it's like you mean it's like a tampon string that sticks out of no, a no, bubble. No, no, <laughs> like, no, no, like flushing a toilet. Yeah, like flushing an old chain toilet, or or, or like my <laughs> chimney. You know, my no, no, my no, chimney no. has a chain that opens the flap. No one ever brought it up to her, but you all knew. But it was just kind of like folklore, and from what I've gathered, right, there was a, it's a surgical process. So some so a doctor installed it though. Yeah, you yeah, know right. it's not a home cut yeah. kit. I uh, guess they surgically implanted like a string inside the tush. Yeah, the anal where the anal muscle is supposed to be. Right. And then it it comes out of the flesh, mm -hmm. and I guess you draw it like that. I got a question. Like a yeah. pool cue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess like a pool cue. Yeah, like yeah, a pool cue. Yeah, like a pool cue. But you got to yeah. be careful. You don't. You know what I mean. You got to keep a steady hand. Yeah. You one slip and you're in. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no barrier there. If it, you have no anal muscles, yeah. I imagine at any point it can just give way. It's a kind of an arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right. It's a, it's a more of an arrow, legless and you, arrow thing. And you have to hold it against. Hold your, it. Yeah, yeah. You have to hold it against your cheek. It goes right against your cheek. <laughs> and your arm. Look at your arm starts to shake. Yeah. Yeah. For not much longer, I can hold it. <laughs>
<laughs> shit. Shit. Yeah. Can you imagine the stress? Yeah. This poor girl, by the way. I hope her butthole's fixed. Well, I'm sure technology... Probably not, though, huh? How well, do you... Do, do they have robotic anal buttholes now? Can you just... <laughs> Well, you know, like, um, you know, they have, they give you bovine hearts. You know that, right? You could get a cow's heart uh, or cow's valves installed. Not the heart, but they have valves, really? Co bovine from oh, cows. Wow, wow. That's incredible. So I'm, I imagine maybe they do a bovine asshole. Can you get a bo bovine butthole? Anal steroids, anal stenosis is the anal opening too small or does not relax open properly. This may be treated with surgery and enlarge the anal opening. I think she had the other problem. I think it was too big. Mm -hmm. You had to, she had to wind it down. An yeah. anal reduction. Oh, yeah. She had a reduction. Yeah. You I know. mean, if they're doing all that work on her ass, why don't they just put a new butthole in? Just install a new one? Yeah. See, you know, that's the problem with your generation. Yeah. You got to fix what's going on. You don't just, yeah. just don't throw Can it away. Can you do my nose? Yeah. <laughs> like, if, no, the anal is what they're doing. That's you can't get doing. other things. I want Botox in my cheeks, my nose. And, you know what I mean? You can't do that. Your generation just wants to throw stuff away and exactly. buy something new. How about fixing what you got? When it's a broken ass, I think just fix it. Fix it. The <laughs> ass is a, a the whole I mean. is, the ass, the whole thing isn't broken. Yeah, it's not shat. It's not. Yeah, the ass is be was beautiful. It's a great a ass. It was a great ass. ass. Yeah, the whole was broken and that's fine sometimes that's the fine. hole breaks <laughs> i'm saying replace it i bet you there's somebody out there right now getting their ass broken right and as we speak oh that's an interesting question so um i'm i'm not you know an ass guy right? i've never had it in my i have had it in my ass but yeah what are you talking about <laughs> no, so you're right you're right yeah. you're right that's how we but started, started is, the show I, yeah. <laughs> but um what i'm saying are there people that get anally you know people have sex with them anally uh -huh. and their does their butthole do, do they does it deteriorate it sure does Oh, I see. No, it sure does. In fact, and prolapsing is a big problem. You know about prolapsing, don't you? We're I call it the tail. The tail? The tail when the tail comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Right. When your inner it, when your innies come out. Yeah. That's a real thing. You can break your butt for sure. I would do that though. You'd break your butt. I would keep it out. You know what I do for Halloween? <laughs> I would put glue on it and put fur on it. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like I'm like a rat tail or something. That'd be cool, dude. So gross. Someone comes to the door, you're like, trick or treat, they're like, yeah. What's your costume? You yeah. just turn around like, Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Shoot him! But I would do the ears and everything. He'd be a cute. I would do the ears, the little whiskers. Well, what are you, right? a fox? A little fox? I don't know what I am. Uh, a little... it, de it depends on how long the tail is. Right. Well, right. I imagine yours is pretty long. Real long. You got a big one. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah, a three yeah. foot tail. Yeah. Like the upper intestines are in the. It all fell out. Yeah. In that day, it all fell out. 